Rich Transformers 93 here with another, um, what is it, a uh, news video? I think that's what I call it, sorry. Uh, I haven't been putting out very many videos out here in a long time, um, but now that it's the summer, I have some extra time, so I'll be putting out some more videos. Um, so first of all, what we see here is the Cyberverse uh, Roadbuster. Um, the, these are the pictures from, like, BotCon, I think it is, uh, that just happened, and uh, just uh, there's, like, four pictures in here that really stood out to me, four pictures of Transformers Ark of the Moon toys um, that I definitely plan to get and um, wanted to show you guys. So here go so here's Roadbuster in his um uh, Cyberverse version. Now we do have the Cyberverse uh, Leadfoot and Topspin already released and those two they looked okay. This guy looks pretty awesome I will say and because of the way that he looks I will be getting all three of the Wreckers in the Cyberverse versions just because this guy really looks great. Um, I don't see how he cannot look this good. He really looks very nice. Well done. And because um, I've seen him them, I've decided to get all three records in all three versions, the Cyberverse, Deluxe, and Human Alliance. Um, so yeah, so you can expect me to get all three of them in all three um, sizes. So there you go, so there's Roadbuster is the first one. Now the next we found the Cyberverse Commander um, Shockwave, which looks kind of cool. Um, I like his sculpt, I think it looks really nice. The only problem that I have is his color. As you can see, he's a very light uh, purple with a like the gun is a very very light purple um, and with some gold and silver and gray highlights um, I think this purple is not very good but uh, it looks okay in the back here we can see his big like cannon arm thing I guess it transforms into it also transforms into this I I don't know what it is. I think it's just like a cannon space station type of thing. And then here's his, uh, here's him with his tank behind him. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but I do plan on getting the Cyberverse Commander's Shockwave just because he's Shockwave. You know, I've got to get him. And then uh, next thing we have here, uh, which is a Space Case, uh, which is pretty interesting. He is a Decepticon. It says only at Target, so this is a Target exclusive. And um, it's got some interesting colors. But the reason that I really want to get this guy is because he is the same mold as Teradive, just with a different head sculpt, and I'm a big fan of Teradive. And then to get a whole new one with different paint and a different head sculpt, I'm totally in for it. So I'll definitely get this guy Space Case. I don't think he's going to appear in the movie. I think he's just a repainted figure, just you know, for us to buy. And then uh, lastly, up here, we have the Human Alliance um, Leadfoot uh, with... Um, what is it? Steel Claw? I think that's the dog's name over here, and then also comes with a human. Um, so that is just really awesome. It is also a Target exclusive, and um, just this weekend I picked up the Human Alliance Roadbuster. Uh, so I'm definitely picking up this um, as soon as this gets released, and then hopefully they'll release a, um, a top spin Human Alliance, but we don't have any uh, pictures for that. But there you go. So those are just four things Human Alliance, Leadfoot, uh, Space Case. Um, Cyberverse Commander, Shockwave, and Cyberverse Roadbuster. So there you go. So there is just some things um, that I definitely plan to get and that really stood out to me in the pictures that we got from like BotCon, I think it was um, BotCon. And uh, I got these all from Cybertron.com, um, just so you know. So there you go. So um, that is my news, Transformers Dark of the Moon news video, I guess, of um, some upcoming really nice looking toys. So there you go. Thanks for watching.